Archie King here, back with another episode of Let's Play Demon's Crest. We are going to go ahead and head up to the new area that just opened up. I assume they remember where that is. There we go. Area 6, which is the place that I just passed up. The Ice Palace. I'm going to go ahead and jump into my inventory real quick to show off something. Uh, as you can see, I have an extra vellum. That is because, once again, I managed to pass up something that was completely easy to catch the first time. Uh, in this case, it was in the tower section, in the area that has the upward drafting wind. Um, went ahead and grabbed that off camera, no big deal. Uh, speaking of going up, we're going to go ahead and go to air form as I did, and come up here to get the final urn. And I don't really want to play the bottom of the stage, so we're not going to. We're just going to play dodge the bone dragon hatchling things. Um, I am actually doing this for a specific reason, other than the fact that I just don't feel like dealing with the hassle of real platforming for real people. Uh, that is because the entrance to the section that I want to go in is actually up here. We're going to go in here, and this is a fairly easy section. And I just absolutely adore the air form. It is so handy. And then, I, of course, I run into that, but that's okay, because we're going to switch over here and go into this ice door here. I realized I should have switched my buster for a And, haha, <laughs> the glitch works there. That's exciting. And we get another life extension. Now, you can also bust out the uh, these back pieces here. It's not really... There's not really any purpose to it. Sometimes you can get money, most of the times you don't. But, you know, it's neat. We exit back out. And... There we go. Now, the floors do have your typical ice physics. You uh, do a bunch of sliding, as you can see there. This section's not too bad. I actually really like it. I think it's very well, very well made. More guns, no big deal. Barbarian's hitbox, hitbox is actually a bit smaller than you'd expect, um, so occasionally attacks will clip through him, and that's very useful. Oh wait, I was going to say I have no idea what that section is for, but I lied. It's a lead up to a mini-boss. The flyer is back, and let me tell you, he freaking hurts this time. His attacks do uh, either three or four points of damage a pop, and yeah, it looks like three apiece. And he is, you know, a big uh, proponent of the ram into your face strategy. And he's also quite good at it, especially with the ice physics on the floor. You can't really uh, do much walking, you have to be airborne. He's not too bad, but he can catch you off guard. Luckily, he's being really nice to me today. He's doing a lot of circling and less constant dive bombing or throwing his claws at me. Alright, and he went down surprisingly easy, actually. Um, during my test run, I actually had quite a bit of trouble with him, uh, so that went well. And we get the full restore, and we go on to the next area. And I freaking hate this area. It combines all of the worst elements of everything forever. Uh, we've got horrifying jaw-grabby hands down there. Um, it's a room with the with the candles and the bats. Except this time we've also got those uh, little jelly things, and apparently those are made of oil, because hitting them with fire will actually catch them on fire. Oh dear. And this is why this section is terrible. Let's see, I think this is the spot. Yep, we get the last crest, the armor crest. It's really hard to say whether I like the armor crest or the hand crest better. I'm leaning towards the hand crest. Oh my gosh, I 
hate this area so much. It's you have to use the air crest to fly upwards. But, you know, obviously you can't see what you're doing, so. The best strategy is just kind of make a rush for it and hope for the best. Alright, and look, it's our old buddy, General Arma. Again. And this is the final meeting, and he's correct about that. We won't, we're not going to fight him again. Um, however, we are going to totally own him. Hopefully. Now, his I know that his body does 4 damage if you touch him, and I believe his, um... I believe his shots do three, but the air form is far and wide the best uh, form for this. It does the most damage. You can fly. The shots are fairly big, and we're not gonna see him do too much new until the towards the end of the fight when he uh, gets to low health. Uh, one neat thing is the air crest is completely unaffected by the whirlwind. The whirlwind does absolutely nothing to him. I did not see how much damage that did. I definitely felt how much that one did, though. Ah, there we go. There's the new attack. Oh, and it is very painful, as you can see. That's actually the first time I've gotten hit by it. One moment, please. Sorry about that. Allergies are quite bad this time of year. Um, it's October, and I have some pretty bad fallout buttons. I apologize for that. Alright, but we're gonna try taking him on again this time. And hopefully we're not gonna get hit by that attack. There we go, that was a bit risky, but it paid off. Stop hanging out towards the ceiling. It's actually a real pain to get up there. Use the whirlwind. Reset your height. You know you want to do it. Oh, that was a cheap shot. Yep, poor damage. I'll tell you what, we're going to go ahead and switch to the armor talisman. Because that is the correct answer. With the armor talisman, you actually take half damage. I think. It's either half or or reduced by 50%, which I think is still half. I'm not sure how it rounds, though. I don't know if it rounds down or up. I would assume up. Or maybe down to a minimum of one. There we go. It's not hard to get him into an AI loop with this attack, because he gets really intent on hitting you with it, which makes sense. It does a lot of damage, but it's also really easy to dodge, which is why I was so surprised I got hit by it last time. Kind of makes getting hit by it all the more embarrassing. And this is pretty much going to be the rest of the fight. See? And he's so impressed with us that he wants to become the next crest for us. And this next crest is a doozy. It is the Time Crest. We become the El Gargoyle. What happens when we're the El Gargoyle? What does it look like? Well, what do you say we find out? We're gonna head right back into the stage and... Ah, L stands for Legendary. And yes, we become Firebrand's true form, the Red Aramur, the Legendary Gargoyle himself. I'm going to switch back to the Hand Owls because I like having multiple shots. These attacks do a ton of damage. Now, you saw how I killed him in one shot? Let me just give you a quick comparison. Back to the Air Crest. One, two, three. They take three shots to kill otherwise. And again, for comparison, one shot. Yeah. The Legendary Gargoyle is freaking hardcore. It does three times the damage of the Air Crest, which up to this point had been our most powerful attack. So, consider that. Very handy to have. We're gonna go to this other next section. And 
Ah, uh, yes, it does act as a buster shot. I kind of forgot about that. I hadn't actually tried it last time, I just sort of passed everything up. That was painful. Yeah, I just wanted to see if you could headbutt this form there. That why I sudden urge to test it out. Here we are. And beneath this pile of skulls, boom, is the fifth and final vellum. So now we have all the vellums, four of the talismans, all of the urns, and most of the crests, as well as a hefty chunk of um, life extensions as well. We're gonna go ahead and fight this boss, and he is super easy with the uh, time crest. I mean, yeah, he's gonna keep hitting us, but we can honestly just win. Like, okay, we're getting hit, oh well. I'm not actually sure this boss was designed with the time crest in mind. It's... There we go. The fight is over. And we got the piece of the crest called Demon Fire. Now I'll go ahead and show off the Demon Fire. Um, I'm not actually sure if it does more damage than the Legendary Gargoyle Swarm or not. But we're going to come down into this little hidden area. And this is going to be the most annoying thing ever. I am probably going to have to save state for this. I'm not even going to lie. The Demon Fire just looks freaking cool. Um, again, I'm not sure which does more damage, to be honest, but I digress. This is a hidden um, skull game. I can't remember if I actually showed off the skull game or not. I'm pretty sure I did. This is level 3. We have to do 25. And the entrance fee is also 20 gold instead of um, less than that. So I'm gonna, I'm, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do three legitimate tries. I'm probably not going to talk at all during them. And after that, I'm just going to cheat the hell out of it. So give me one moment here. All right, try number one. And try number one is turning into an absolute disaster. Right between them. Right above it. Right beside it. Yep, that was a total failure. I'm not the least bit surprised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, well. Try number two. Oh my god, I was so freaking close. Uh, Alright. Try number three. This is actually just like insanely difficult. nailed it that time. I cannot believe it. I tried this, I'm not kidding, ten times before giving up and deciding to just do it in the recording. 
Oh, thank you very much, Mr. Man. Alright, and I think that's a pretty high note to end this recording on, actually. I know it's a little bit shorter than normal, but I want to save what's coming up later for its own video. So on that note, I'm going to go ahead and end it. Thank you for watching, and have a great night.